all together. Guys. Hello, hi, it's me, Achara <laughs> Kirk, joined by Haley Seat. In our recent food videos, I noticed some of you guys were like, yeah, you should look at like some travel videos too. And so I just looked up like India travel videos. I don't know if this is any good, but apparently this is the 10 best places to visit in India. I would imagine that I have not even visited that many of them. I have no, I have visited none. <laughs> in India. So this will be a good starting point where we or where mm -hmm. I should go yeah. visit next. Because most of the time when I've been to India, it's been like mostly for business related stuff. And so I haven't had the chance to go to a lot of like more touristy things which I would personally love to do because yeah. I love to travel and I love to see new things. I'm sure that there's going to be a lot of you guys in the comments saying actually um, actually, <laughs> let me tell you, my hometown is the best place yep. and it's not included in this top 10 best places. So if you want to shout out where you're from, argue as to why it is one of the best places in India, feel free to do that in, in the comments below. I would love to hear them. <laughs> but before we jump in, please subscribe, click the bell icon, all notifications and upvote this video. Let's check out the 10 best places to visit in India. All right. Oh. I'm pretty sure I've been there. <laughs> I always get mixed up. That looks like the one in Delhi. And I forget if it's Gate of India or India Gate. Oh, okay. Because there's one in Delhi and one in Mumbai. India is, is an Varanasi? enormous and I've been diverse there. destination. Taj Mahal? Yes. <laughs> bordered by seven different countries, not to mention the Arabian Sea and the Bay I of Bengal. I feel like I might have been there too. Means that there are many different sides That's to pretty. the country. And More there. than 20 <laughs> official languages, multiple religions, and a variety of cuisines exist within India's borders. Mm. To truly Ooh. experience the breadth of that Indian culture and ah. history, travel is key. Here's a look at the best places is this to visit Jodhpur? in India. Someone insisted we look at uh, pictures of Jodhpur on our live stream. There was like, oh. they were like, this is my city. It's beautiful. <gasps> it's called the Blue City. Oh, oh. I'd want to ride an elephant. <laughs> That's something I'd want to do. I okay. don't know. So th there's bound to be some people who are like, yo, you shouldn't ride elephants anymore. Oh, I'd like Number to pet 10, an elephant. I Udaipur. love Udaipur. Oh. The city of lakes, Udaipur, glistens romantically on the edge of the desert I've heard in Rajasthan. Many good things. The city is protected by lush hills and is mm. where you can find the mesmerizing lake palace in the middle of a tranquil wow. lake. Wow. Another captivating so site in the is the imposing lake. but graceful city palace, along with the monsoon palace, which stands out with walls made of gleaming white marble. Whoa. Explore old temples, walk the winding streets of this fanciful corner of India, and slip into times past inside its ancient bazaars. Wow, <laughs> I love shopping. <laughs> like shopping, yes. You can see all the tourists walking by. So you yeah. know that this is a popular place that the tour going on. Wow, stunning. Yeah. Look at those yeah, the like mosaics. Ah, more elephants. That's so cool. It's in the middle of a lake though. Yeah, I think like everything's just like built around the lake. But there's just something romantic about having to take a boat to yes. go places. Mm -hmm. Like it's really nice. Goodness, uh, mm -hmm. how pretty is that? Number nine, Amritsar. The Punjabi city of Amritsar make it. <laughs> lies on the border with Pakistan and is home to the holiest of Sikh sites. The Golden Temple is in the heart of the oh. Old Walled City. This oh, wow. serene Sikh shrine provides a place for reflection and inspiration. You can tour the Golden Temple wow. regardless of religion, like but you will need to show respect it, it, by yeah. covering yeah. your head Look at and that. removing your shoes. The streets surrounding the That's temple crazy. are a frenetic fusion of people, markets, and activity. That is crazy. Be sure to busy. pick up some traditional goods, such as hand-embroidered fabrics and oh. delicately ornate shoes and eat a meal. Yes. I heard that they they provide free food, right, at the temple. Ooh. This is part of the worship. So I would- Like full meals or like little snacks? Like a meal, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, like a vegetarian Ooh. meal. Yeah, like, and so everybody comes um, and like, oh, you yeah. can work 
uh, making the food, serving the food, and okay. any anyone, everyone is welcome to that's have a meal. That's number eight. Yeah. Ladakh. Ooh, that's in gorgeous. Wow. In the heavily disputed Ooh, I want Kashmir to region is the mountainous destination You're a mountain of person. Ladakh. Hey, I'm a mountain. I grew my whole life large, up in the mountains, but it has so a mountain population person. density and a number of nomadic residents. Wow. Breathtaking, pristine scenery is a major draw to the area, but Damn. virtually all travelers will also spend time in the town of Leh. The town is located at a very high elevation, and it Goodness. is home to the 17th century palace of the king of Ladakh. Buddhist culture is also prominent in Leh, and you may wish to explore some of the many Buddhist monasteries and oh, temples. Oh, I would cool. love that. I wonder if my mom went there on her Number pilgrimage. Number seven, Goa oh, beaches. Also on love the beach. On the western coast of India is Goa. I have been to Goa. Oh, okay. Portugal that blends Indian culture with colonial influences <laughs> and plenty of international tourism. Goa is popular largely because of its spectacular beaches. The busiest of all is Kendalim Beach, where travelers from around the world flock to soak Did up the sun. Anjuta Beach, by contrast, mm. is far less crowded. That's it the one I should have gone to. Place where <laughs> Rather than I didn't like forth. this. <laughs> and admire the sandy coastline See, from if a I'm at a beach, I'm scuba diving, so I'd try to find that dive over here. beautiful beaches in all of Goa, with its natural bay surrounded by lofty headlands on either side. Okay, I feel like I went to the wrong side of Goa <laughs> and, and, and Jabby can co-sign on this because we went and like it was my dream, okay. you know, like I had heard, you know, like so many great things. What's that love, eat, pray type thing, you know, and like I used to practice yoga a lot and people were always like, yeah, I went to Goa and went on this like yoga retreat and it was like so cool. And so I was like, yes, I want to go to Goa. This sounds amazing. The first time we went to India, I insisted. I was like, Jabby, we have to go to Goa. So we went for like a few days. I think I chose the wrong beach. Because I went and I was like, it's crowded. And You're like, like, this is crazy. Yeah, I was being hounded by by people oh, yes. selling stuff. That's and like, what is in Mexico? Yeah, You're in Mexico, and you're like, okay, all right. And you I, buy I something from one person. Yes, and you have a line. Yeah, you have a political line. And I'm like, no, no, I don't. Oh, please, I I just want to enjoy my my coconut. <laughs> please leave me alone. <laughs> I need to find that quiet beach. Mm -hmm. I think that's the vibe. I'm not there to party because also it's a yeah. party. Oh, beach. okay. Yes. Yeah. I'm more of the chill vibe as well. Yeah. I liked it. I like the chill chill and just hang out recommendations yeah. for the chill beach <laughs> in the comments please because <laughs> i am not here to party <laughs> not at all <laughs> maybe maybe if i if i were to go with some party like friends mm -hmm. it would be fun but at that time i was just like no i want to experience like <laughs> a beautiful quiet beach oh we got the white hippies <laughs> Oh, there's and the yoga. The yoga. <laughs> the yoga. Yeah, see, I want to be in the water. I want to be diving yeah, over there. Yeah, literally no one's in the water. <laughs> Delhi. If you're spending any time okay, in I've northern India, heard you will Delhi. almost certainly visit the capital city of Delhi. I do love Delhi. The enormous, sprawling destination Pretty. is home to several districts, and it is considered to be one of the oldest cities in the world. Wow. One of the top sites in Delhi is the Red Fort, which was built in Did the not 17th go. century. I have a story. The Red Fort is <laughs> made from sandstone, and you will <laughs> you be able to walk it? through <laughs> its Lahore Gate, <laughs> into the bazaar, through the Jewel Palace, oh, man. and even into the former residence of the Sultan. Mm. While in Delhi, you should also make time for the many museums and religious structures that make Dang. up the city. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> Went to some. Very pretty, though. Oh, that's wow. pretty. I just really appreciated. I know that Delhi is quite polluted, but I appreciated that there was a lot of like greenery, trees and stuff. Yeah. That's important. Yeah, it looks very busy. It's very busy. <laughs> but I, I love the city. Like, I think it's like... Ooh, that's a cool wow, building. Wow, I did not go to that. It's like a lotus flower or something. I love that. So there's like more things for for me to see <laughs> if I were to go back. Because normally Number we're just five, visiting friends. Elora and Ajanta Caves. Ooh. In the state of Maharashtra, I love caves. you can explore the caves of both Elora and Ajanta. Another thing that At I didn't Elora, do. There is an enormous complex of shrines carved I from the to rocky do this. landscape. This looks really These cool. These 34 yeah. cave shrines are up to 1,500 years old. Wow. And they are from three distinct religions Buddhism, oh. Jainism, and Hinduism. 
two How hours cool. away is Ajanta, which is home to 29 caves. The Ajanta caves are covered in murals and paintings, most of which reflect Buddhist stories. While the two cave complexes are two hours away from one another, it is well worth Whoa. visiting both to That's compare really cool. these incredible See, I like attractions. Caves. That's cool. And it's it's Buddhism. I'll take my mom. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be well into it. Unless she's already been. My mom did a pilgrimage to India. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. with her like Friends. little <laughs> ladies group of fellow <laughs> Buddhists from the temple. <laughs> That's so cute. They had a blast. Wow, look at the art. Number four. Varanasi, I think my mom a did city go that here. may okay. seem strange Very to holy. many Westerners, Varanasi is of great religious importance. Mm, okay. The holy city sits on the banks of the divine Ganges and is believed by Hindus to be a sacred place of pilgrimage. The city is known Probably for the religious then, yeah. practices that take place on the Ghats alongside the river. Pilgrims wash themselves in the waters of the Ganges and the bodies of Hindus are cremated. The sights of life and death along the riverside can be shocking, but a visit to Varanasi is also contemplative very busy. and ultimately yeah. helps visitors to further understand India's deep Whoa, cultural and charm. spiritual practices. Yeah, it's like wild just how busy it is, yeah. but yeah, it's also like really holy, so you know, everyone's there, life and death commingling yeah. at the same time. Very much representative of life, I think, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Very much. Oh, I like the, the cows get a good view. The cows get to overlook. Yeah, <laughs> no one's gonna, no one's gonna do anything about the cows. Very holy. <laughs> oh, wow. Although I do wonder, and I hope no one is offended by me asking, mm -hmm. like, how, how much of it, like, okay, how much of it is, like, legit? Because I'm always very skeptical when it comes to certain places mm -hmm. where it's like, this is a very holy place. Like, oh, we go to the Vatican or whatever. I've never been. Then you can buy, like, touristy oh, yes. things. Yeah. Or, like, how much kind of it... Kind of diluted. Exactly. Yeah. So, like, how much of it is happening because it's, like, legitimately this is where you, you actually feel the holiness or just because now it's a tourist trap yeah now it's yeah. a tourist trap because you see a lot of tourists mm -hmm. go there for like just regular tourism or religious tourism like how do you tell the difference between someone who's just doing something because it's now become their livelihood mm -hmm. because of tourism or whether it's like they're actually <laughs> feeling that because that's what I would want to seek out if I yeah. were to go there is like mm -hmm. what is the real religious experience like what yeah rather than just yeah the exactly what you're saying like the keychain and gift shop at the end. Yeah, exactly. Number three, Kerala. The Kerala. southwestern oh, state of India, so known as Kerala, okay. is a place of tropical beauty. Okay. Palm trees, white sand Look beaches, at that. and ecotourism are My speed all as well. big reasons to explore the region. Besides okay. its famous <gasps> backwaters, elegant houseboats, and temple festivals, oh, Kerala is wow. also home to the Takati Tiger Preserve. The <gasps> a hub tiger of Kerala preserve. is the city Heck of Kochi, yeah. where you can see the local fishing industry thriving so along wow. with modern high-rises and colonial architecture. All right, this is another one I really like. I want to <laughs> do a riverboat trip. Ooh, My waterfalls. sister was supposed to go. She'd booked one and then pandemic happened. Oh, of course. Wow. Looks like some nice hiking. You got the beaches. I'm liking this. Yeah. Very green and lush. Very lush. That's actually crazy how green everything is. I wonder if those are tea plantations. Number two, tea in Agra. Oh. Agra is known for one thing, the yes. iconic what? and ultimately impressive Taj Mahal. I've been there. Set thing. on the south bank of the Yamuna River, it's the worth Taj it. draws millions of it's tourists considered one a year. Of the seven wonders, Built right? by yes. an yeah. emperor as an extravagant memorial to his wife, the mausoleum's porcelain white marble is an emblem of romance and adventure. Agra itself sits in the shadows of its imposing monument, but is a small and welcoming city. The ancient Mughal era oh. Agra Fort is an it's attractive stunning. spot to visit. Peer over the walls and catch your first hypnotizing glimpse of the Taj. So pretty. And the marble is so cold. Really? <laughs> you touch it. 
I don't know if I was supposed to. I think they said I could. Anyway, I touched it. <laughs> it was cold. Oh, they're touching it over there. So I think you're okay. Look at the line. Get there early, early in the morning. Yeah, I think we were lucky. It wasn't... I mean, it was busy, but it didn't feel it like... too crazy. Too crazy. Oh, is that like... Is she the person buried here? Yes. Oh, okay. That's crazy to know that you're like buried. Well, you wouldn't know, but your burial spot is like where so many people go to. <laughs> and I'm not even sure if she was the the Shah's like main wife. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> well, but she was definitely the one that he loved the most. Yes, for sure. Guys, correct my facts in the comments. <laughs> Dang. But yeah, that's. Number Ooh, one, number okay. Jaipur. I've been the there. The pink okay. city of Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan and is where you can find the beautiful oh, Amber elephants. Fort, a sprawling, stunning complex set in the hillside what? overlooking there the were lake. Elephant rides? Located just outside of the city <laughs> and built in 1592, yeah. the grandiose citadel was it. also a palace I for some think time. I could be but wrong. Now an I'm pretty sure the amazing attraction. race went here. Make sure to take On a trip to the I be city palace with its stunning courtyards and gardens. Plus, the amazingly intricate Palace of Winds. Jaipur mm. forms one corner of the Golden Triangle, mm. and it also makes a great gateway into the lesser-known destinations within Rajasthan. Okay. I loved Rajasthan, and I wish I could have uh, seen more of it. Okay. We saw uh, this, the pink mm -hmm. city, uh, in the evening and at night. Didn't actually go in properly, but I did go into the big palace um with all the different little palaces inside my favorite was the mirror palace it was so cool it's was like all little mosaic mirrors oh i think it was for the winters or something because it gets dark right they put lots of candles inside it and, then, and like, so it all reflects it. it's beautiful and then like at the hotel we were staying at they had a restaurant which replicated that experience so i was like jack <laughs> <laughs> once in a lifetime let's go to this overpriced hotel restaurant <laughs> and eat here and we had this amazing rajasthani feast oh, so like it's worth it so worth it all right it. so it wasn't over priced as much because you're like this was it we this did eat until we felt sick but it was it's such an incredible experience because they had like so many candles and like the whole room cute. was like lit up it was beautiful you're like i want to go home and i'm gonna make this one of my <laughs> yeah. rooms i'm just gonna put like <laughs> mirrors i'm gonna have like a disco ball wall just <laughs> everywhere i've seen like the art exhibits where they do like mirror rooms so that's what, like i'm imagining yeah. all these mirrors and it'll, yeah it's just like little teeny really cool. tiny ones and it was so expensive at the time when oh. they made it and the reason why i know these facts you guys is I'm going to tell you a hot tip pay for that tour guide <laughs> Jabby's vehemently against tours and I understand why because he just wants to be able to explore okay. on his own time and I don't know if I got cheated you guys are probably like you paid too much money I don't care to me it was worth it but met like a really cool dude because like all of these tour guides will come up to you and be like hey do you want a tour guide do you want a tour mm -hmm. guide do you want a tour guide and i just like the vibe of this guy because he seemed pretty chill and i was <laughs> like listen i'll pay for you to take us on a tour but like if he wants to stop just go at his pace okay. like don't try and rush us or anything he's like yeah it's cool he was great it was like giving me all the history which I love as like a history buff and like I, I get really excited. I would excited. want to know as well. Yeah. Like if there's not like a plaque around or something, Which, I would like to, yeah, then I would like to know what's going on here. Because especially if I'd, I've never been there and I have no information about it, I'd be like, well, what makes this so important? What makes this so yeah, special? Yeah, it was really, really interesting. So like I do, I do recommend that because when we went to the Taj Mahal, <laughs> <laughs> Jabby scared away the guy who wanted to be our tour guide. I would have done it, but he was like, no, I don't want a tour guide. He was kind of doing it for free in the beginning and then was like, okay, so now you should pay me. And Jabby was like, we didn't even agree to hire your services. So no, I'm not paying you. <laughs> Poor guy. But I was really enjoying it. I was like, Jabby, I want... <laughs> You're like, I would like to do that. I would okay. happily pay this guy to like, just give me facts. I want the facts. I want to know the history of whatever happen i do recommend that and it was just so cool to see these places and i feel like 10 top 10 places in india is like barely scratching the surface it's such a huge place that, yeah. yeah that's for sure hard to make a list of just top 10 i feel like even a top 100 
<laughs> you could easily do in a country like India or like at least a top 50 really solid places that you can go to because it feels like a lot of these places that they shared yeah they're probably the top 10 because they are the most popular touristy. and the most touristy yeah. there's got to be more places off the beaten path that's what I love I love going to places that are off the beaten path you get to see the authenticness yes. of like yes. the people the food it's not gonna just be yeah what kind of is popular for tourists especially when it comes to food and stuff a lot of times like places will just make food that they know is gonna sell because like a lot of people are scared to try new foods yes so they're gonna do that rather than like the authentic okay this is what we have every day this is I, yeah. I love going to those type of places which is why a lot of the time like uh, when I go I love to travel to places where I know people so that I can have the experience of a local so they can be like oh this is a <laughs> restaurant that me and my family go to or that like I'll go with my friends a lot. This is a bar that we like to go to. You should do this. Go shopping at this bazaar instead of this bazaar because like that one, they're going to cheat you and like, <laughs> try and take all your money because you're a tourist. All of that stuff, I, I really like. Basically, I'm saying if anyone wants to be my tour guide, when I next come to India, like let me know. I would love <laughs> just to be taken around to like all of the really cool, legit places that you guys go out to. Let us know in the comments like you know any other cool places or if there's like any other video suggestions that you think we should check out and we will surely do that i'm achara kirk this is hey we see ciao